The velocity of money measures the rate at which money goes from one transaction to another in an economy. In simple terms, it's how often and how quickly a dollar changes hands. Usually, if money circulates through an economy at faster speeds, the economy is seeing more transactions and is probably healthier than an economy with a slower velocity of money. A faster velocity also means businesses are further along in the business cycle, which leads to price increases and a higher rate of inflation. To understand the concept, consider a very small and simple economy that includes only three entities, a grocer, a rancher, and a farmer. They have $50 between them, which the grocer just happens to own. The grocer pays the rancher $50 for meat she wants to sell at her store. The rancher pays the farmer $50 for some grain to feed his livestock. The farmer then pays the grocer $50 for groceries she needs to feed her family. The original $50 bought $150 worth of goods by changing hands three times. The velocity of money in this economy is three. The figure can be viewed as the money supply's rate of turnover. Velocity of money is usually measured as a ratio of GNP to a country's total supply of money. Investors can use it to gauge how robust an economy is. 